Oh, it wasn't too bad today. Filled the cart up. <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna learn. I think it's the fourth time it broke on me. The way I'm thinking about permanently fix it, actually a metal wire basket would work a lot better than the plastic, but we'll keep doing it. I could get that other one set up as a flatbed, a backup boy flatbed and maybe bring another cart home. If I want to mount it, you know, if I want to mount the basket down on top of the flatbed, I could easily. Mailman just dropped this off. Look what we got, Coons. Oh, that's a happy birthday card. No, it's supposed to say card. How many that? Oh. Something fell out. <laughs> Something fell out. No, right here. I don't know what that is. Sorry if that was important. Oh, it's. It's a penny. Okay. <laughs> How many dads does it take to screw in a light bulb? And it says, here is you another still penny. <laughs> Dumpster cards. Ha ha ha. Ah, and I'm holding it. None. There's no working on Father's Day. Enjoy your day. Love your channel, my brother. Happy Scrap Daddy's Day. <laughs> you can't see me. Wait, what do we got? Rusty Rotor Club. Ah! Another one for my car? Yeah. He's got one. That is awesome. All right. Dude, that's a nice steel penny. 1943. A lot better than the one I found. The one I found was on the street. That's cool. Thanks, Kent. Just got our insurance card for the Trailblazer. Well, it's for both of them. Well, both vehicles, of course, but we had the uh, Trailblazer on. Lucky only went up $10. It only went up $10 on the insurance. Not bad. I'm going to go put this decal on the uh, car. You need to show what Dusty got in the mail. Oh, yeah, let's do that. What Twisted Metal got. Honor Roll Student, Indiana Digital, K-12. We get all A's? He got one B, and the rest were A's. One B and all A's. Right on Twisted. Right on Twisty. I don't know. I don't want the window to swiper to hit it. I won't hit it right here. It only goes... Right here. Might as well. Might as well start every freaking corner of the car. Or should we put it on the side? No. Put it on the window. So when people are behind us, they can see it. Thank you, Coons. Love your channel too, bro. That's awesome. Somebody shooting the dogs. Sounds like it. Well, that one there was a gunshot. Stop barking. <laughs> that minute. one there was a gunshot. <laughs> they so we got... You couldn't see me. The Rusty Rotor Club. like that. A snobby scrap picker. Keep sending them. My car's going to be covered in them. <laughs> Along with Twisted Nano. Honor student. Nice. He worked hard for that. Yeah, he did. Don't feed the raccoons. Turkey run. Canoe and camping. Woohoo! 1943. That's freaking awesome. You know, I don't even think I ever cleaned the other one up. I just threw it in the, uh, with the other weedies. We're going to document this for scientific reasons. I mean, it's all about scrap metal. And, and scrap money moves everything around us. Okay. Yep, I say we got it loaded down with some a couple fan motors, a toaster oven, the fan. You still haven't put this in water yet. A bunch of legs for a table, speakers. 
piece of aluminum or stainless in there or something. It's nice. Cans everywhere. Look, they're falling out. My cans are falling out. Oh, I cannot believe this, people. Every time I go ride my bike, I get a flat tire. There's a whole unit. Kind of fan motor. Oh my gosh, it's heavy too. Uh, right on. We need a brush. Oh, you want to hang in the shade? Yeah. There's a couple clamps right there. There's a clamp I need for my cart. Nice, nice. Yep. Hopefully, there's one more. I got a couple in the house I gotta find. Alright, we're gonna go hang out in the shade. Yeah. Another radiator. Complete. Some kind of fan motor on it. You like that? Heavy, heavy, heavy. I just turned one in. I found another one. And I got this one. This is the third one within a week. I mean, I'm sure there's more out there. Just got to keep going out there and looking. And I got this crazy dude. I don't know. I saw the brass and this actually stainless. Stainless steel. And some brass on there. Not sure what that was. It was a lid to something. Briggs and Stratton surface cleaner. Huh. Well, where's the rest of it? You know what I'm saying? Where's the rest of that joker? A little aluminum cans, a little aluminum siding. I'm about to go out for the third time. Fifty, hundred and fifty of these things. Huh. I'll come back. Oh, cat litter. Always cat litter. Why? What's in that box? Empty. Yeah, I'm gonna go back down that alley on the way home, pick up those paints and poster boards, start advertising the Dumpster Jerry. Actually, that chalkboard advertisement, watch Dumpster Jerry on YouTube. The guy that actually works there subscribed to the channel. And when I rode by him, I looked at him. I thought he looked familiar because I saw his little avatar. It was his face. And then he gave me a thumbs up and was like, yeah, Dumpster Jerry. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring him some cool stuff. Like, man, I should have brought it was some kind of vintage store. All those crystal knobs, door knobs. I should have took them there because I had complete sets. So... Thumbs up, Dumpster Jerry. I gotta get home, boys and girls. Last dumpster. Pretty sure that's stainless. Pretty sure that bad boy's stainless. 
wrong with that. That's aluminum. Just gotta clean her up. Had one of these already. The bitch should take apart. But we can do it. We can do it. Crop pot. I'm just gonna steely seal in that bad boy. Yeah, we use this for the home. Not that. It's probably stainless, but this thing hanging on the door. We can use one. We got one. Nice books. All this painting. Mama McKee, aka Mama Scrap, loves elephants. What? Huh. She loves elephants. So we'll take it home. And I guess the trunk up is always good. Good luck. Not bad. The cart was empty when I left. Uh, by the time I get home, it'll be an hour. I've been out. Maybe an hour and a half. We'll see. Oh, this ain't good. Scrap metal outside the scrap shack, too? Uh-uh. What kind of scrap metal outside the scrap shack, too? Not good. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but it's not a good thing. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. We gotta do something about the mess. Welcome to the organized confusion. There's a bunch of trash I need to get rid of. Thinking about storing most of that up in the lofts until I can get to it. We need to buy another trash can uh, for the garbage man to pick up. Those things run like $80, so we need to buy one so I can just start throwing a bunch of trash in one and then garbage in the other one. Uh, somebody, I guess, when this house was vacant before Aunt Danny bought it, somebody came down and took, uh, <laughs> took the garbage can, I guess. Helped themselves. Why not? There we go. How about that? How about that? Repurposed. Not to start. <laughs> Again, somebody gave me a bag of cans. Just going through it to make sure that's what they are, cans. Uh, last time I, well not last time, but one time I dropped off a bag of cans and I'm like, you know, they had trouble with the guy before me. He was pulling all kinds of metal out of his cans. And I'm just like, yeah, man, I already went through all these. They're all good. And I dump them in there, and there's a freaking battery sitting in it. You know what I'm saying? Like a Power Wheels battery. I was just like, oh, my gosh. So now we're just going through all the cans. I got some flat boys I picked up off the streets. I mean, these, I'll pick these up because them cars, after being ran over a few times, will squeeze every single piece of juice out of there almost. I mean, very minimal amount of juice left over juice i mean drink juice <laughs> squeeze the juice out nature's fruit juice right there all right going through my flat cans going through my flat cans and i come across this bad boy see this is why i guess i got to go through it this is an aluminum can it's an aerosol can it is an aluminum can but and all aluminum cans do have a plastic coating in the inside. So whatever drink, the soda has usually got some kind of citric acid in it. It doesn't start eating away or, uh, you know, start uh, reacting with the aluminum. So they put a piece of plastic lining in there. This one here, I'm sure, has plastic lining plus a plastic tube. It's a little bit too much plastic. You can actually see that tube right there. So... They see that, you know, they're going to frown upon it. And that's one thing you don't want is your scrap yard frowning upon you. 
hot today. 90 something degrees, 91 degrees, same as yesterday. In Indiana, for those who don't know, Indiana is like extremely humid place, so it almost feels like it's over 100 degrees with the humidity. Anyways, we got the car full of free recyclable drop-offs. Help clear the garage out. The, the big old blue roll-off I saw yesterday, um, that was empty. It's full now. Huh. The guys are working hard. Let's go take a peeky. Sit, meow, mix, sit. Meow. That's a good pussy.